The curtain is about to fall on an iconic Halifax theater. People have been going to the movies at the Oxford for more than 80 years. But now the building has been sold to a developer and the cinema will close in two weeks. Here is CTV's Suzette Bellivo at the movies. Movies at the Oxford Theatre have entertained crowds for more than eight decades, but the curtain will fall. In a couple of weeks, Oxford Theatre will screen its final movie after Cineplex sold the building to a Halifax developer. I have a great nostalgia for this type of experience because it is a bit different than the movie experience of today, uh, but it, was, it wasn't unexpected. Cineplex officials say the decision wasn't easy. The Oxford is a single screen theatre, a popular trend when it opened in 1937. The executive executive director of the Halifax International Film Festival says many moviegoers these days tend to prefer multiplex cinemas with a variety of choices. There's multiple screens and there's all these food choices and there's a lounge and there's an arcade and it, so the movie going experience has changed a little bit, you know, well it's changed a lot. Still some people around here want the Oxford to remain. So I started going in university and used to live down on Oxford Street with a bunch of girls and we would come and see, we saw Life is Beautiful there and a lot of great movies that did well. During its final week, Oxford Theatre will screen an array of movies from The Wizard of Oz to Titanic. Tickets will only be $4.99 and all proceeds will benefit the IWK Foundation. 80 years of history is is hard, you know, hard to compete with. So starting anything fresh in a place that holds this much history will be a challenge. It's a challenge Nanco Group is ready to take on. The new building's owner says he grew up in the area and wants to keep the nostalgia in the building as they move forward. We want to take that into consideration when, uh, when finalizing the building and incorporate as much as we can from name to design to look and feel and uh, ultimately the, the composition of the mix. Norman Nahas says the building will likely be used for retail, commercial and residential space. So far there are no plans to tear it down. Now the final screening will take place here at Oxford Theatre behind me on September 13th. It will be Titanic and Cineplex officials tell me that the independent movies they typically show here at Oxford will move to Park Lane Theatres on Spring Garden Road. Steve. All right, thank you, Suzette. CTV's Suzette Bellivo just down the street from the Oxford Theatre.